Hello everybody, it's me Twinkle. Hola amigos, soy Twinkle. Do you know what time it is? It's Twinkle Time Live Online. Are you ready, DJ Dallas? Yep. <laughs> One, two, three. Come on everybody, just shiver with me. Blink three times and you will see. A spark of Twinkle, that's me. Bring your friends along with me. Just a wink, that's all you'll see. So are you ready? Uno, dos, tres. Yeah! Vamos a intentarlos todos otra vez. Parpadea y verás una chispa de time ever tuning into Twinkle Time Live Online or as I like to say hashtag TTLOL. Everything that I do here is educational, bilingual, and always tons of musical fun. So todos juntos on the count of tres we have to say happy Friday which is feliz viernes. Are we ready? I couldn't hear anybody. <gasps> Are we ready? Yes! Okay, here we go. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Feliz Viernes, which means Happy Friday. How is everybody doing? I see comments going up and up and up and up. I see a whole bunch of hugs, hugs back, virtual hugs back. Uh, Dustin Byer, hello, how are you? What day does uh, work for you for your show? What day? Uh, you mean Monday through Friday, TTLOL is Monday through Friday, what time? 2 p.m. Pacific Standard or 2 de la tarde, Tiempo Pacifico. Thank you, Kari, for the well wishes. Oh my goodness, you know how much I love Fridays for so many different reasons, but two very important reasons is because Friday is hashtag... Friday faves, which if this is the first time ever tuning in to Twinkle Time Live Online on a Friday, my Friday faves are music videos that I love, that I chose for this week, that I loved listening to or watching or had a really cool message. But most importantly, all music videos from independent recording artists from kids and families. So basically that what that means, independent recording artists, that means that all the music that you're hearing, uh, they're not signed to like a big record label, like I don't know, Disney or something. They do it all independently, all by themselves, and they put their blood, sweat, and tears and work so hard. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I like featuring my Friday faves and also with some really cool Friday fun facts. And you know, I was thinking for this week because I don't know if you remember, but one of our words of the day, la palabra de hoy this week was animals, which is animales. So that got me thinking, like literally the whole week I was like, I wonder all the different kinds of animals that live all around the world. Have you ever thought about that? So. What was like really like in my brain like all week, and I'm gonna tell you, is I wonder what kind of animals live in the abyss of the ocean. Have you ever wondered that? Oh, 
did you say you didn't know what abyss means? I'll tell you. So abyss is something like never ending, like bottomless. So you know like at the ocean, like you just keep going and going and going and don't, like there's probably like pirate treasures and all kinds of really cool things way at the bottom. So I was wondering what kind of animals live in the ocean. So I was thinking, and of course you know me, I love doing my research. So a couple fun facts. First, fact number one, did you know that our planet, the planet Earth, is made up of 70% ocean. That's 70%. So that means 30% is made up of land. So most of it, the entire planet, is made up of water. That's a lot of water. But you know what? Thank goodness for oceans because I don't know if you knew this, but if it wasn't for the oceans, the oceans is what keeps our planet nice and cozy and warm because otherwise without the ocean um maybe we would be living on a very i don't know icy cold rock of a planet so thank goodness for oceans and also did you know do you know how many um i don't know oceans are in the world do you know I will tell you. So there's four that are super popular, like hashtag trending. So there's the Pacific Ocean. Now I live in Los Angeles, California. So I'm closer to the Pacific Ocean. I live by the Pacific Ocean, which I love. And then there's the Atlantic Ocean. There's the Indian Ocean. There's the Arctic Ocean. And then there's one that isn't as trending, which is the Antarctic Ocean, Antarctica Ocean. So um, those are all the different oceans that are in the world. And this one is my absolute fave. So getting back to animals that live in the ocean, um, did you know that there is over one million species, animals, vertebrates that live in the abyss, way down in the ocean. That's pretty cool, right? But let me tell you something. I heard, you know, I rub elbows with a lot of different people. I heard that scientists have only really discovered and researched only 5% of the oceans. So that means 95% of the oceans around the world haven't been researched, discovered, or studied. So that means there might be more than a million living things way down in the abyss of the ocean. But you know who might be able to help us maybe figure out what lives way down in the abyss in the ocean? I will show you. So our first video, this is so super cool, is a Chicago-based music duo, although there's only one person pictured, and that is Farmer David. But his buddy Seth, um, they are the music duo animal farm and they are both friends and singer songwriters and musicians and educators and they have two family albums and this particular music video i'm about to show you is from their second very award-winning album it is called are you ready the abyss check it out here we go Where the sunshine cannot reach A thousand feet below the surface Miles from the beach Far from the waves That muster up the form You can call it the abyss But I call it home The fishies are pretty here But I'm not one to judge Stores a giant isopod picking through the sludge. I've seen so many wild things in all the miles I've roamed. You can call it the abyss, but I call it home. This place is all so special, only if you can brave its cold. And the darkness can be creepy when you're starting. There's no need to be weepy Cause I'm the biggest fishy on the floor It takes a different breed To live so deep at sea Perhaps the humpback anglerfish prefers 
years you let him be. The sunlight doesn't visit here. It's easy to feel alone. You can call it the abyss, but I call it home. was that video did you happen to catch i think it was like a crab i hope it was a crab or maybe a lobster who did like a drop down stance move it was so amazing i mean i'm gonna have to rewind it and watch it all over again because that was awesome so that is the animal farm with the abyss so okay i have another video that i want to show you it's also from a music duo. Let me show you their picture. You might remember their name because I did show another music video of theirs probably a couple weeks ago. So let me pull it up so you know who I'm talking about. They are the Itty Bitty Beats and it's a music duo and they come all the way from New Zealand. And so I started thinking, oh my goodness, I bet or I wonder what animals are specific to New Zealand? Like, is there any animals that are specifically living in New Zealand and nowhere else? So, of course, I started doing my research. And, okay, so they're kind of like grasshoppers or crickets, better yet. They're maybe like crickets, but they don't fly. And they're specific little creatures, little animals that live in New Zealand. And I hope I say the name right. They're called Weta. Have you heard of them? They're called Weta, W-E-T-A. Maybe it's Weta, but I'm going to go with Weta. And they're like little crickets, and they only live in New Zealand. And then I was like, oh my goodness, have you ever heard of hedgehogs? Well, I always, like, when I see them in pictures, I'm like, oh, my God, they look so cute. And I, like, want to – I feel like I want to just pick them up and they look, like, super cute and furry, but they're not. So they're kind of, like, part of, like, that porcupine family where they have, like, super spiky, like, prickly, like, protectors. That's to protect themselves, right? Um, but this is a very cool fact of a hedgehog that – they usually live in New Zealand um, – that they are – completely immune to snake venom. Did you know that? Completely immune to snake venom. I was like, I didn't even know that. That's like a, an amazing fact. I need to be friends with the like the little the little hedgehogs. How cute, right? And then, now this one is the coolest fun fact ever about animals in New Zealand. The coolest thing is it's they're called kiwis, and it's not the fruit. Uh, it is a bird, a very specific, very famous, kind of like, I don't know, iconic bird that lives in New Zealand, and they're called kiwis. And the really cool thing is that they're so famous, so iconic, that anybody that lives in New Zealand, born, raised, if you live in New Zealand, they too are called 
kiwis. How cute is that, right? So um, this video that I'm going to show you from the Itty Bitty Beats from New Zealand, this video is it's an award-winning video. Um, they were a finalist at the Children's Music Awards in New Zealand for this song and for this video. Are we ready to watch? Here it is. It is called Kiwi Convoy. All right. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know I am. Convoy! Itty bitty beats. Thought shall we start a convoy? Invite lots of friends to join us on the way. Found the Kiwi in Kaitaia cruising in his combi. Kakapo in her cab in the Coromandel. Shall we start a convoy? is so super cute that was so cute the caravan of all the animals that live in New Zealand I so love that video it was so cute now let me see let me see who's up here hi everybody um hi Jorge um dance and sing oh I need to dance sing on stage do you know how much I miss singing and dancing in front of live audiences I miss it so much. You have no idea. Um, hi, Christina. How's it going? Um, somebody says oh, they should be a guest. You know what? The Itty Bitty Beats should be a guest. Now, that's always like the tricky part when they don't live in the States is trying to coordinate a schedule because sometimes they're like, eight to 12 hours ahead of us. So we will make that happen. I, I'm working on it. We're gonna make that happen. Um, and then let's see, somebody says, oh, you saw lambs. Which one of those creatures is not venomous? A point, oh, oh, Jason has a question for me. <gasps> oh, okay, so put my thinking caps on. Everybody put your thinking caps on. And let's see, okay, so Jason has a question. Which one of these creatures is not venomous? A poison arrow frog. A boa or a cobra? Uh-oh. Okay, so wait. Um, I'm going to say that is not poison. I'm going to say a boa. I hope I'm right. So put it in put it in the uh, in the comment section. I I think I hope. Um, I don't know. I have to look that up. Um, and then um Okay, I can't, I can't see what the answer is, but I will see it in a couple seconds. Because remember, there's like a little bit of a delay. So like whatever I say live, you guys get it like a couple, like maybe 15 seconds after. <gasps> I'm correct! Yay! Okay, that was like a good guess because I was like, okay, the arrow frog, it has poison arrow frog. So I was like, that one has to be poisonous, right? And then... I was doing my research about like slimy, slithery things. Um, and I was like, okay, wait, a boa constrictor. That's the one that like just goes like this and constricts you. So 
that one probably isn't venomous. So I was just kind of like, you know, going through and checking all those things off. So yay, I'm so excited that I got it right. So excited. Thank you, Kari. Um, well, speaking of things that are like slithery and slimy, okay, if you know this, put it in the comment section. Um, what, okay, what doesn't have arms, uh, legs, eyes, and slithers? They don't have arms, legs, eyes, or slithers. I'll tell you just in case it takes too long. A worm! Did you know that? Um, they don't have eyes, so they basically like they can feel like light and stuff. I thought that was like really interesting. Now, another crazy fun fact about worms. So when they're, they hatch, they hatch out of like little cocoons, literally the size of a grain of rice, which is, I wish I had a grain of rice, but it's like so tiny. Now this is a really cool, interesting fact about worms. So um, I don't know about you, but like an acre. So let's say, if you don't know what an acre is, let's just say maybe you live on a farm, right? And the farmhouse is on an acre acre of land um so in that acre of land then not just one farmhouse one acre of land um there could be in the dirt one million earthworms one million earthworms but this is, gets even crazy the craziest fact ever did you know that in the entire world, in the entire planet, there is 126 billion acres of land in the entire world, in the entire planet. So I'm not the greatest at math, but let's do the numbers. That is a lot, a lot of worms. That was a kind of really interesting fact. So uh, this next video I'm about to show you, well, it is all about worms. Um, and you might even remember him because he was my guest, my Monday musical guest. I will show you a picture just in case you forgot what he looks like. So I just like gotta scroll down. Um, if you don't remember, his name is Poco Drum. He's all the way from the UK. And this video that we're about to watch of Poco Drum, it's called it's called Slow, Slow Worm from his brand new album, Fung. It's, oh, I almost said funky, and I almost got the entire album wrong. Once again, Furry Grunge Electro. Here is Slow Worm, Furry Grunge Electro is the name of the album. Here we go. What is that? I thought it was a snake. Now I know it isn't. I think it must be a star worm. In my garden, the 
is not a snake. There's a lizard whose legs number zero. A pest eating hero. Eating all the snails. Eating all the slugs. Living in the compost pile. Eating all the bugs. Now the whole world will learn. Your name's Joe. Sometimes looks can be. Didn't you love that video? That was Poco Drum, Slow Worm, from his new album, Furry Grunge Electro. I love him so much. And that was his little son that's in the video. And um, I don't know if you remembered the Monday musical guest, which he was. He was talking about his wife who does the background vocals. I believe that was her dancing. She's got some good moves. And remember, she's a scientist. And I think her name is Dr. Power. I love that. So, oh my goodness, thank you so much. I loved having him as a guest. He's so much fun. Um, so oh, let me look at some of these comments that are like scrolling up somebody says that was awesome um i really enjoy this show since i found it from dustin that is so sweet thank you well you know i'm gonna keep doing these live streams i think i think could be wrong today is the 87th live stream uh i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it's 87 uh lincoln says slow worms have eyes because they are legless lizards oh slow worms oh my goodness see now you taught me something i love that legless lizards Woo! oh my goodness and then joseph says um who is the winner I'm going to get to that. I love Joseph. He's like on top of it. I love you so much. I'm going to do that towards the very end so nobody go anywhere. Um, it says, despite looking like snakes. Wait, where, hold on. I just saw a couple other questions. Um, just, where did that one just go? Um, oh, I, I can't see it anymore. It says, which, oh, Jason's got another question. It says, which one of these animals has the largest brain? Uh-oh. The parrot? The peacock? Or the elephant oh I think I'm gonna go with the elephant and not because it's big anyways but elephants are known to be super duper smart so I'm gonna say elephant and I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that I got it correct um, let's see what other hi hi Christina okay one more oh Jason's got so many questions I love it it says um, okay one more which one of these animals is the smallest of the big cats the lion the tiger or the leopard. <gasps> okay, wait. The lion, the tiger, or the... L I'm gonna go with the leopard. Did I get them right? Um, elephant is correct. Hey! Woo! I love it. Um, and, oh, Kari says, slow worm. I love the dance move that his wife did. Slow worm. And on the one leg, it was awesome. At 10 pounds, an elephant's brain weighs five times more than ours. Isn't that amazing? Like... Woo, that's huge. Five times more than our brain. That's incredible. Um, so speaking of tigers and jaguars, okay, so we've uh, kind of gotten familiar with things that live in the abyss down in the ocean. Uh, and then we kind of got familiar with some animals that live in New Zealand. And then uh, now we learned some really interesting facts about worms and slow worms. Uh, thank you, Lincoln, for that amazing fact that they do have eyes. I love that, that they are legless lizards. So 
learn something from Lincoln. Maybe, Lincoln, you will be our future singer scientist, because I know he wants to be a rocker, too. Um, oh, wait, I see a question or something from uh, Jason. You are correct. Once again, Leopard is right. Should you, sp uh, uh, this kitty in the jungle, better hope it doesn't spot you first. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... You know what, Jason? It's like you read my mind. Like we're reading each other's minds because you know what? I don't know if you read my mind or if I read your mind, but do you know what kind of animals live in the jungle? Anybody, anybody? Maybe Jason knows. Um, okay, so we kind of covered some of these. Um, a jaguar, uh, maybe a tiger, um, also monkeys, gorillas, all kinds of things live in the jungle, right? Um, and did you know where jungles are? Jungles are like literally on the edges of the rainforest. And rainforests are usually in South America, Central America, Africa. And then um, this was like a really weird, because I'm not a fan of ants. Um, I'm not talking about like Yes, like you know my auntie um, I'm talking about ants you know like the ants that like literally march in a little line with all their ant friends to get your food um, those ants um, <laughs> so there is in the jungle no joke over 200 different types of ants that live in the jungle. Ah! Oh, they make me itchy just thinking about it. So um, this next video that I'm gonna show you is a brand new friend of mine. And I have to bring up his picture because I wanna say his last name correctly. Uh, fingers crossed uh, that I say it right. Uh, his name is Dirk Scheel. And if I say it wrong, well, we're gonna just have to wait till next week because he is going to be my guest next week. I'm so excited, coming all the way from Holland. I mean, not literally coming all the way to California from Holland, but virtually coming from Holland. I'm so excited. Now, I'm also extremely honored, and let me tell you a little bit about him. So, not only is he a uh, educator, a music therapist, a uh, singer, songwriter, musician, rocker. He is also a TV star in Holland. He has his very own show that is on the Nickelodeon Network in Holland. How amazing is that? So not only are we gonna see a video called in the jungle Jason I can't believe we were like right there like right there we were reading each other's brains um but he's gonna be here next week we haven't solidified the day yet I think it might be Wednesday but because he lives in Holland and he's a different time zone we are working out all those details so of course you're just gonna have to tune in and find out when he's gonna be on the show but it's gonna be next week for sure and I'm so excited so here is his video called In the Jungle. Here we go. In the jungle, there lives an ape. In the jungle, his name is Jake. In the jungle, he swings on a liana. In the jungle, he eats a banana. And the ape sings, Gooly bop and do. Gooly bop and do. In the jungle, there lives a snake. In the jungle, he's had a nap and is awake. In the jungle, he slithers around. In the jungle, you'd better check the ground. And the ape and the snake sing, dooly bop and do, dooly bop and do. lives a parrot in the jungle he's orange like a carrot in the jungle he says what you say in the jungle and he can chat all day an ape and the parrot sing dooly bop and do In the jungle, he's a real 
survivor in the jungle. He prowls in the wood in the jungle. It is his neighborhood. And the ape and the tiger sing. Dooley bop and do. Dooley bop and do. that he's going to be on next week. So I don't know exactly the day. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Wednesday. You're just going to have to tune in all next week, Monday through Friday, at what time? 2 p.m. Pacific Standard or in Espanol, de lunes a viernes a las 2 de la tarde, tiempo pacifico. Oh, my goodness, more questions. I love that. Oh, somebody said, oh, Jason, I got another one. Which one of these animals has the longest lifespan? Uh-oh. The parrot, the black widow, or the elephant? Hmm. Got to put my thinking cap on. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't like, no me gusta, black widow spiders. So, um, I'm going to go with the elephant again. I hope that's right. Um, let me keep reading because I know it takes a couple seconds for you guys to get it. Um, wow, let's see. In the jungle. What, that was such a catchy song, right? In the jungle. Do ba do ba do. Um, I love how he's right. It was so cute. Um, and then Joseph says, just wondering, did I miss something? I did miss something. Um, Oh, what day works to have me on your show? Oh my goodness, Joseph, we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, we will we will make plans. I will have to DM and figure all of those plans. Um, nope, that's incorrect. Sorry, Twinkle. It was the parrot. Oh, I almost said that because I know that parrots have a long lifespan, but I was thinking maybe it's the elephant. Really? Well, see. Now, I, too, on Friday, Fun Fact Friday, I, too, get to learn something new. I love that. Thanks, Jason. Um, colorful parrots like macaws can live up to 75 years. That is a lot of candles on a cake. I totally agree with you. I love that. I hope you guys had so much fun um, not only listening to some really cool music and watching some really amazing music videos from independent recording artists for kids and families, but also learning some really cool fun facts. I mean, it's all about education and music, combining it all together. And that's what Twinkle Time Live Online is all about all walks of life coming together through the love of music and learning because we're like students of life right like we're always learning every single day we learn something new so um and i enjoy hanging out with all of you monday through friday um and again and again and again oh my goodness sometimes my mouth and brain just don't sync up so and again um let me show you in case you are tuning in for the first time and don't know that i have a patreon page uh it's patreon.com forward slash twinkle time or in espanol www.patreon.com forward slash twinkle time go read all about it but what i also love is literally and you guys know this Everybody can support me the most by literally just coming here to my YouTube channel, which is Twinkle Time, Monday through Friday, and hanging out with us doing Twinkle Time live online. Love it. Okay, so 
we always have to end the show with a whole bunch of laughs, right? Because that's what is good for the soul is just having so much fun in life. And I mean, you can't take life too seriously, right? So on the count of three, let's do a huge drum roll. Are we ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. Four, the joke of the day. Now I got to scroll back up and it's going to take me a couple seconds because there is a lot of scene changes today with all the fun music videos. Okay, so let me get to my jokes. Now, if you've never watched this show and if you have a joke that you want to send me, have mom or dad send it to me, DM Instagram, which is Twinkle Time and Friends, or on Facebook, which is Twinkle Time. And I will pick one of your jokes to read sometime during the live stream. So let me scroll over here. And okay, are we ready? I think I have two jokes today. Oh, yes, I do. Are we, I'm just trying to think which one is the better one to end on. Um, okay, we'll start with this one. Are we ready? Got to get focused. How are tigers... Oh, wait, that's not the joke. Hold on. Let's start again. Focus. Here we go. How do tigers describe themselves? How do tigers describe themselves? Hmm. Perfect. <laughs> Get it? I mean, honestly, though, do tigers really say, do they really go purr, purr? Like, I mean, like my cats purr, but do tigers, I mean, it would be more like a growl, like perfect. Probably more like that. Um, rate the joke on a scale of one to 10. One being you still need a lot more uh, experience in joke telling. And it's okay. I'm all about constructive criticism. My feelings won't be hurt. Uh, and then 10 being, that was amazing. Um, your nails are so cute. Why? <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Uh, oh, Twinkle, don't forget the Barney Says Hello video. I won't. I won't. Don't forget to read my joke. Oh, my goodness. Laugh out loud. 10. <gasps> Thank you, Cole. Okay, so wait. Now I have to scroll for my other joke. Um, joke two. Um, here we go. Where did it go? Here we go. Have to get focused serious business over here. <clears throat> what kind of music do killer whales like? Hmm. What kind of music do killer whales like? They love to listen to the orchestra. <laughs> Get it? Okay, so killer whales, another name for them is orca. Orchestra. <laughs> I love that. That was a fun joke. Um, that, that was a good one. I like that one. Um, somebody says, oh, Twinkle. <laughs> um, you guys. Um, okay, so um, it was so funny because I totaled up everybody's, um, well, whoever, I took screenshots of the people that did the tallies from yesterday's game that we did with the letter M, la letra M. So I'm going to announce the winner, the person that came closest to the actual number was a little off but was the closest is our friend Katie now I know that Katie's not watching today she wrote me earlier and she says I'm so sorry I won't be watching the live stream today because she has a friend uh, that there they had plans and so I was like no worries girl so she's gonna be watching this later today Katie you won yesterday's uh, game with the letter M, la letra M, M, M. <laughs> letter M, la letra M. So everybody, a round of applause for our friend Katie, who is almost like our stage manager here on TTLOL. And then um, somebody says, I forgot their joke. Oh, Kari, hold on a second. I know you sent it to me. Uh oh, hold on. Give me two seconds. I got to read this joke. Hold on. Okay, wait, that's not... Uh, my Instagram. This is Instagram. I promise I'm going to read it. Are we ready? <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Okay, everybody, this is our friend Kari, who, if you didn't watch yesterday's show, um, he did a little, he sang a song, and I featured it yesterday. He didn't even know I was going to do that. Um, here is joke from Kari. <clears throat> what are you making for dinner? 
I'm making some buttermilk fried chicken. Yes! Oh my goodness. Yay, Kari. Thank you so much for that joke. Keep sending jokes my way because you all know I love telling jokes. And I feel like from live stream number one to live stream 87, I think, I feel like my joke telling skills have gotten a little bit better so you guys thank you so much this was such a fun week of hanging out and of learning all kinds of cool things so I hope you had as much fun as I did so are you guys ready to close out the show with a little song <laughs> of course you are here we go ready a one two three T W I N K L E that's what everybody calls me Mwah! From my house to yours, have a fantastic, fabulous Friday and an even better weekend. I will definitely miss all of you over the weekend. So everybody, big virtual hugs, virtual hugs. And I will see you all Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard, 2 de la tarde, Tiempo Pacifico. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.